fun and exciting short pen talk um yes today's video sorry welcome for those who are new here it's me cory um uh yes so i do love to make videos of stationaries um fountain pens and all other hobbies that you know i find it interesting so Today's video, it's gonna be a an answer to a question from one of my subscribers um, about my previous like a video two weeks ago. I'm gonna screenshot the question here. It's from Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Um, uh, she asked uh, about when i uploaded a video about my currently inked pens and so the question is like what do you do with so much pens <laughs> she can hardly write with all her four pens so this is just a quick one for you guys um i know last year i was if you've been in my channel my channel i have been using around eight to nine to ten pens in a month and i have already grown up <laughs> or matured or let's say um i'm into um minimizing the, the the waste of my inks or i want to rotate more of my pens i can use them the entire year i do have a lot like around 60 i haven't really made the final count and yeah and i'm using for this year the challenge for me is it's five pens every month so as you can see from my previous video for my april i'm using exclusively all my uh, esterbrook um fountain pen in my on my collection like i do have five of them and this is my newest one the currently inked one the palm green junior packet from esterbrook so you might wonder they are all in fine nibs and basically just the difference is just with the looks and so what really is the purpose of inking them all when they are all just fine nibs right to me even though they are all fine nibs they have different ink um, effect with the nib i don't know uh, I'm experimenting my ink combination with all of my pens. I also have a lot of bottled inks. I'm not a fan of using sampled inks because from where I am, if ever I want to buy that particular sample or it's very difficult to acquire. So that's the reason why I'm using or utilizing all my bottled inks. But because I have a lot, it's rarely going to this pen and that pen so that's my exercise every month of using um of having the progress reports you know and and overlooking what how how is this pen with that ink so we are moving away from the question <laughs> to answer that question what what do you do with so much pens i have five here and i also have around five to six including um this small notebook journals and planners so i rotate them for example this is my five-year journal and it's i'm on my fourth year actually and look at that the ink changes i have logged here um my in the first year of this journal i only used one pen and ink which was the Pilot Prera and the Oxblood, Diamine Oxblood, the entire year of 2021, as you can see. 
and then I come to realize that in the long run I do have a lot of pens I purchase I purchase and you know I also ink so I might as well change them every month so on 2022 I do change them on for 12 months different different pen different ink and I don't think I have repeated the same combination so that is how I play around with all my pens to make use of them some here are or may, maybe it's already sold like this the first one sailor 1911s is no longer with me or this opus 88 so whatever new i make sure that i use them for this journal so that's one pen let's say for this month i use this Esterbrook scarlet for the entire month of april okay let's put this aside because my space here is very limited so that's one pen already Next is my planner, my olive green traveler's notebook planner. So for this week, every week, by the way, I, I change pens. As you can see, I, I'm taking down notes here every week. So for the month of April, I rotate these five pens, one pen every week. So it gets used. So this week, I made use of my Sunset. Oh no, last that's last week. This week, it's the new one, the Palm Green. Okay, so it's always one pen assigned to one notebook. Now, this is again another journal, which is the Take a Note Planner. Sorry, this is my planner for work. And this also, I play around let's go to april okay let's say march i play around with my um pen and pen and ink combination so for example where is that for the week first week of march i use the pro gear slim i change them every week so if i don't feel like fountain pen i also write there <laughs> meaning i'm so busy so as you can see moving on to april um yeah this is one first week i use the this pen okay and for next for the following week i also use the other the palm green ester group so i make sure that they are um used and rotated there are four to five weeks every month. So this week, it's the Yamabudo Ink, I mean, Esterbrook Sunset. So this goes here. And the fourth notebook, which is my finance um, traveler's notebook. Uh, sorry, <laughs> my charm fell off. Um, this is my grandma's very sentimental charm. For example, this also, I'm not going to show you a... Um, what do you call this this is my finance planner I also assigned one pen to this okay so we have one left that's the reason why I have only I am only inking five pens every month I don't like to go beyond and you know I've learned my lesson for the last two years and it's a pain to clean them. Uh, I do them by batch. And it's just like, you know, um, I, I want to play around with all my other pens to be used. That's the only way if you have a lot of pens. So for this journal, the Hon Hobonichi A5 size, it's divided into three sections. If you are familiar, this has also the monthly wait let's see first the very first one okay this is where i track my habits my daily um routine morning and night and i also change my pens here every single month so that's one pen most likely i use the same this for this page i use it for the same in the monthly so i don't need to keep opening and you know closing a particular um 
pen, fountain pen. So for the month of April, I use this pumpkin pie. Um, yeah, this one. There is so many pens involved for this journal, to be honest. <laughs> but that's how I I finished my inks normally. So when you see my progress report, they are mostly like finished. So this is my weekly vertical and I highlights from the Bible and or the gospel of the day and my sticker where I play around with my themed sticker every week. My highlights of the day. Some days I don't write or busy with the scripture writing. So that's also a weekly exercise of using my pens. That way they get rota rotation. So that's the weekly and moving on to the monthly. Uh, I forgot to add the fifth pen here, but yeah. Um, this is where my morning page is in the left hand side of the page. And that's one pen again per week assigned. For example, if this is the assigned per week, this is what is going on on Monday until Saturday or ah yeah Sunday. And so um, the all all of the other pens I use to journal and write in the spreads. <laughs> so that's how I use my pens. Mostly my all of my five pens are running around on this journal. Last but not the least for this notebook, this is the only one where I use my ballpoint because I carry this around anywhere in the kitchen and all. So I don't need a fountain pen for this notebook. So I think that answers the question of how I used all my pens, my five fountain pens in a month. And maybe you want to do the same exercise, let me know. But I am happy of, as to from the first quarter, I've been doing this and it's really, really working for me. Maybe it will be also for you if you want to uh, use all the other pens. Where's the other? Okay. So if you are like me that I have a lot of pens, then you can rotate them this way. But if you have, if you like to do... 10 pens every month nobody is stopping you it's your call and you will wash them you're the one gonna wash them anyway but yeah that's my thing uh i don't have the time and the patience to wash all my pens especially if they are those piston you know and whatnot but my main purpose for this um five pen a month is just to use all my pens the entire year hopefully there's only 12 months and there's five pens every month i think that's good enough to rotate all my pens but i do if you follow my channel i also do recycle like i have a pen with so much pen left uh, ink left over from the previous months i carry them over for the next month until it's finished so there's no waste happening and yeah so i hope you have I hope you get the idea for the purpose of this video and as to why you only need five pens or how much notebook you have. <laughs> but if you like to annotate when you are reading and all and so on and so forth, handwriting, practicing and all, that's a very good way to use your pen and ink. I'm just saying from my end that this time around, I want to be more... Um, what is the word <laughs> comment down below why i want only five pens every month every single month thank you so much for hanging around and i hope jackie it answers your question and thank you for that very very wonderful question that also got me into this exercise and yeah i hope you already subscribe and ring the bell and i appreciate for those who have already, thank you so much and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys!